I just wanted to show some of the pens that I use when I do my Bible study and some Bible journaling. I use the Jelly Rolls, the metallic. Um, I try to use different sets of the Jelly Rolls. There's the Moonlight, and then there's the metallic, and then there's the, um, I forget what this one is called. Uh, even though it says metallic on it, it's, it's a different uh, series. Um, I did save all of the, the like the the tags that go with the packages, and I'll put that up on my website later. Um, but I used the Slicey, uh, which is the .08, and I also used the Slicey point, uh, zero point two five, which is easier to use for writing small, like right here. Um, but if you can see. Um, I used all these colors and I didn't have any bleed through here. Um, for those of you wondering, this is the Ryrie Study Bible, uh, King James Version. And um, sometimes you can see more uh, show through with this paper. Um, verse, like in, in photos, more so than what you see when you're just reading it but it's not a premium Bible. I wish that um, this could be redone in a premium uh, Bible with like, you know, the best paper and whatnot, but um, I fell in love with this Bible before I found out about the premium Bible. So, and of course I just really, really love using it. Um, and so I have this, you can see it's pretty good. These pens are really, really, really good. And then I have just the standard highlighters um, like these kind. Um, I also have the mild liners, of course. Most people have those. And I have, oh, one of my favorite uh, fluorescent oranges is this one. The uh, Stadler. It's like a fluorescent red, fluorescent orange type. Um, it kind of comes as, as a standalone. I didn't get it in a set, but I have been using that for years in other Bibles. And so um, I will show you some of my old Bibles at some point. I'll put, I'll put them on YouTube. Um, there's, yeah, quite a, quite a few markings that I have that I use for that, for those. Um, but I didn't use like, you know, structured lines. Like, so for the lines, I use these, you know, like I pull the tags off clothes, you know, and clothes I bought or active wear. You could see it was an active wear brand. Um, so I use these for lines. And then to keep the to keep the pages from bleeding like one onto the other, I have these uh, papers that I cut from. I go to Michael's or I go to Hobby Lobby. And then I cut these papers in half and then I use this part like that and like that. So when it's drying, it dries and it gets the markings on, let's see, I'll use, see if I can find an example. It gets the markings on the paper rather than um, the Bible. Um, yeah, so right now I cannot find one that has let me see if I can find one that has marks. Okay, here we go. See how that one has marks on it? So I had put this in here and the paper wasn't completely dry, you know, from when I did the um, ink, you know, when I used it. And um, now this was just using as a backing for when I write, you know, here. But I, so I have something here to keep it bleeding through the bottom page. Then I also, if I'm closing the Bible, you see, oh, here we go. Like right here, this was from this verse over here. So I had this closed. And so when I closed it, it went onto this paper instead of going onto my actual Bible. So I still preserve the pages um, here. So that's my little system. Um, I'll try to share more about it um, before the holiday season came, I have this, like this kind of paper, this little Christmas paper I found. Well, not really Christmas paper, but winter pa wintery paper. 
And um, so I just cut up a bunch of these and I put them in the back of the Bible. And then I also cut up small ones for like my smaller Bibles, um, you know, the travel Bibles or whatnot. Um, sometime soon, I hope to get to my Bible collection at some point and uh, kind of share a little bit more. But that is uh, the beginnings of just the pens. And I would be remiss if I did not mention the microns. Of course, I definitely use the microns. I like the smallest, smallest, smallest one, the 0.25. Let me see, I don't know if this is that one. Oh, this is, this is a 0.35. But I have a 0.25 in here somewhere. Um, yeah, I have the, all the black, and I, I really like the small ones. I can't find uh, the 0.25 right now. It's around here somewhere. Um, the colored ones, I still will. I still have to get those. I haven't gotten the colored microns yet because I just haven't needed them um, quite yet. Well, I don't need any of these, but you know, I have the Pilot G2s. These are nice. Um, and then I also use um, washi tape for just decorative things, you know, when I want to decorate a little bit more. Um, I have a, a huge selection of washi, but I just keep, um, you know, I keep uh, the most used close to me in like a little bag. And then, um, you know, I try to get them on sale. You know, there's always a 40% off coupon and I just try to get them all on sale as much as possible. So that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you guys learned a little bit more something about me and my website will be coming back sometime soon. I'll be working on it and it'll blog and have a lot of other things on it which I will go into at a later date. Um, have a blessed day and have a great holiday. Bye.